Hi everyone, Mrs. Heller again, the PE teacher at Blackburn Elementary, and I'm at my home studio, aka my back porch, but it's a beautiful day, so we're taking advantage of it. You might have just finished the activity with the socks, or you might have just done the activity with the milk jug as a scoop, which looks a lot like this. But now we're gonna take these socks that you have, okay? Everyone's got socks. And you're gonna make a sock ball out of it. You're just gonna be rolling it up, rolling it up. This is an old PE trick when you don't have enough equipment. And you just make it into a sock or a ball, I mean. Take the sock into a ball. And we're gonna use it now kind of like if you don't have a ball at home, here you go. You just repurpose something, the whole purpose of Earth Day. Now, is it something that's out of the trash and reusing it? No, but it's something around your house that you just saved some money and you made something fun. All right, so this is a sock ball. And we're gonna add on to what we've been doing our last two lessons. So kind of the same challenges, but now you have a different piece of equipment. So now let's start off fresh. You're gonna just play catch with yourself. If you've got a little sibling or your mom and dad or family is around and they wanna participate, go ahead, give them a sock ball, have them do the same activities, or you can toss it back and forth to each other. All right, so starting off fresh, toss it up, catch it to yourself. Remember. Eyes on the sock, sock ball. Two hands to catch it. On up, go ahead and catch it on down. And just do this for a few minutes while you build your confidence and your whole hand-eye coordination is getting stronger. Once you get that all done, we're gonna do it where we did it, hand to hand. So crossing that midline, start little. Keep your eyes on the sock as it switches back and forth. When you get more comfortable, make your rainbow a little bit bigger. Okay, it's a little bit harder because it's only one hand catching at a time, but you're using and building both sides of your brain. So your next challenge, if those went really well, you can do your clapping and your spinning challenges. So you have your, ball, your sock ball, keep your eyes on the sock, challenge yourself, try maybe two claps and then try it and then at add on maybe three claps four claps see how high you can go and you can toss it as high as you want as long as you're safe and you're in a safe area and you can go as low to the ground as you can before you have to catch it okay see how many claps you can do so tossing it up sock lands in both hands Woo. one more time three seems to be my number right now then you can add spinning challenge or maybe you go underneath Woo -hoo -hoo. Don't know my own strength today. Maybe you go underneath the lake and catch it. Okay? Toss it, spin it, catch it. Try to make a full circle. All right? So those are some challenges that you can do with one sock ball. But one sock ball, let's make two sock balls. So again, take your sock, start rolling it on up. Rolling it. These big, thick winter socks seem to work better. In the long run, but again, you can use your basic socks if that's all you have. Okay, so remember that our rainbow. So we cross it over, the other one comes to the side. You're doing two things at one time, really manipulating your brain, using both sides of your brain, working together, okay? Forgive me if I drop it. Totally human, so are you. So toss it, switch hands. Toss it, switch hands. Okay, and this is building your whole fundamentals on juggling. Now, I'm stronger going this way, but a challenge could be going the opposite way, okay? You always gotta build both sides. There you go. Then, thinking back to when the socks were flat, that cross, cross, catch, catch. Again, cross, cross, catch, catch. Cross, cross, catch, catch. So the second arm that goes up stays up there for two movements. One arm goes up and comes down, second one goes up, then over, bring it down, catch the last one. All right, cross, cross, catch, catch. Forgive me if I drop it again. We're all gonna try this together. So again, cross, cross, catch, catch. And sock balls are gonna be very, very difficult. So cross, cross, catch, catch. And if you've got environmental factors going on like wind, Whew. Cross, cross, catch, catch. And if this is too hard, go back to the flat socks. The more you practice these skills, the better. And then the last thing that you can do 
if you did make a scoop out of the milk jug, you can always trade your tennis ball for your sock ball and work on these skills again. Popping it out, catching it, keep it in there, pop and catch it, okay? I've never tried this before. Could you do it? Depending on the size of your sock ball and how well you rolled it up? I think so. So I hope you enjoy this week of Earth Day activities. Again, Earth Day is Wednesday, April 22nd. And just look around you. I never thought a milk jug could be a baseball mitt until I opened my eyes and noticed its potential. So start looking around. Earth Day is all about reusing, recycling, repurposing. Have a great day. Bye, Independence.